have an event coming up and you're concerned about wilting of the flowers because they will be out of water, well, I've selected two roses here which have about the same open aperture and um, I have two vases here simply to hold. There is no water in either vase and we're going to place this one in here. This is the untreated and Chrysal Glory is the secret to getting these flowers to last throughout the event without wilting. So you, you spray it on, as you, as you noticed, generously to the point of runoff. And then we're going to place it in the vase here, no water. And we're going to come back to this in, a, in hours from now. I don't know how many, probably five or six hours from now. And we're going to see what kind of results we have. Okay, we're back. It's 24 hours later. To our surprise, we, we thought we'd be doing this in five hours from now, but uh, it's next day. And uh, I'm really excited uh, to see the results. As you can see, the untreated uh, bloom is, is, is drooping over and showing uh, major signs of dehydration. And the bloom that was uh, sprayed with the Chrysler Glory is uh, still hydrated uh, quite well. And, and if we want to take a little closer look, you can see on the blooms the veininess you see here. Well, the veins are showing that it's a very dehydrated petal versus this one. It's still a very full uh, bloom. And you know, back in the day when they were always talking about smell of vision, you know? Well, I wish they had touch of vision because if you could touch these, you would also feel how soft and, 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 and uh, yeah, lifeless this one feels. It's like the, the fish handshake, and, and you touch this one and you still feel some turgidity to the bloom. So, folks, use cries of glory in any opportunity a, a, a funeral arrangement, bridal bouquet, uh, whatever uh, situation you might have where there's no water source to get those flowers through that event. Remember, spray it on generously.